So, yeah, most bosses have a short cutscene before them. Uh, so today we have Bobby Jones. Nope. Might want to get in the water. So what he likes to do all the gosh darn time is he likes to throw stuff bees at you. He likes to throw bees all over the place. So there's two platforms you can stand on. Um, one over here and one over there. Uh, you can't stand on his platform because it's too high up and, you know. Yeah. Yeah, he just takes it. Um, so this is what you need the M3 for. Uh, three quick shots to the bod or the carod. We'll get them away. It's basically just a f kind of a force field type thingy. And also he likes to do tricks after he's done, uh, being a retard. So basically you just go back to being a retard. And then you shoot him again, and again, and again. And no! No! Okay, there we go. That takes a lot less time than it does on the, um, any version other than this one. They like to change things up when they make the re-releases, don't they? Obviously, he's a pretty easy boss, because he's the first, um, um, Cobra unit soldier. And, um... First time I fought this guy, he was really aggravating because I didn't realize you needed the M3, and um, that sucked. So basically, he would he he basically can't he can't really be defeated without the M3, to my knowledge, because oh yeah, now he shoots bullets out of his mouth that are bees. So this is his second form. I. Uh, when you get down to half health or half stamina, he'll go into this form no matter what. So, also, you, he, he can't get hit by projectiles because... Bees. No! No! Ow! Ah, the bees! The bees. So, bee bullets... What they do is basically it's a bullet and... Wait, what? Oh, yeah. So the bullet bees are basically just regular bullets only instead of oh god stop stop that uh no 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 there okay switch back to the melm 37 yeah this guy's pretty easy isn't he there this is gonna be over soon i wonder if i'll even get to show one of his forms like his attacks but i bet you're not yeah um you're probably gonna run out of ammo really fast in this fight if you don't go look for some. All right, let's continue our battle. Wait, is he still? Yeah. Okay. Oh no! Don't mess. Okay, so we're gonna go look for ammo while he's throwing his grenades. Oh, that was probably ammo that I needed. So when he throws grenades, um, basically all he does is he 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 makes bees hold his grenade for him and then they just like kind of deliver it towards you and this is the wrong ammo it was all the way over there wasn't it <sighs> this is this is why this is why you don't eat a banana before you poop you just get diarrhea <sighs> there we go so where is that ammo there it is there it is okay there you are oh you stop that right now Stop these sh What? You don't do that. You didn't... Oh yeah, he had a grenade ready. I forgot. <laughs> um... There. This is gonna be quick, isn't it? This is the shortest boss fight in the game, really. Especially seeing as... He's actually easier than Ocelot in many ways. Because Ocelot was cool. And you're probably gonna be distracted by his awesomeosity. But this guy isn't as awesome, so... Come on, take him out. Ah! The bees! Get off me. No, go down, go down. There we go. No, don't go. So whenever you get hit by the his P, his you know, his Jurati, um, the bees will lock onto you until you stay under the water for a few minutes. Or like a few seconds. Just basically swim to the other the other platform and you'll be you'll be good to go. I think he is, yeah, he's he can't no wait, no, he's switching back. Never mind. There you go. Oh, no! Get down! 
There we go. Good job. Get back up there so you can shoot him in the face. Okay. Uh, ah, never mind. No, no. Stop doing that, Snake. Wait until I tell you to do that, and then you can do that. So yeah, this last few like hits, this last hit takes like forever. And also, you can shoot his grenade out of the air. I think. I don't know if you can shoot. I know you. Oh no, I hit him. Where is he? Oh. Ah. Uh, there. Nope. Get out of there. There we go. Come on. No. There we go. No. No. There we go. 50 years after it was so easy. Jesus. Yeah, also every boss explodes after you defeat them no matter which way you defeat them because nano machines. Also, um what was I gonna say? Hmm. I had something interesting to say about Mr. B. Um let's unequip our weapon because it looks cooler that way. So because we defeated him non lethally oh wait, what do I have on? What's damaging? Burn. Ooh, yeah, burn. Where is the ointment? Ointment. So, uh, for defeating Mr. B, we get the Hornet Stripe Camo, which I'm going to get right now. Because you see, I'm walking up the slope right here. And I'm going to. No! God! Every time I try to sell a man a beer, goes and chucks it down the drain. That's what happens. So. Let's get glowing. Also, um, for anyone wondering why I'm not doing the uh, HD version of the game, because I, I I started this LP when way before. Wait, where is it? Oh. Hornet Stripe. Um, I started this LP way before that HD version came out, so I figured why 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 would I change to it? You know, there's no point. Wait, no, that's not it. Hornet Stripe. So. Basically, what the Hornet Stripe does is it kind of it's kind of like bug juice, only um, if you get close enough to bees, then they will follow you, and then like when you get close to the soldiers, it, they'll attack the soldiers for you because they're awesome like that. So that's cool, right? That's really cool. And it's also the most pointless item in the game. There's only there's no areas where it's actually useful at all. And there should be a um a frog around here. I kinda wanted to just find some frogs. Like, you know, if I if I know frogs here I'm gonna I'm gonna like, get it. Uh they moved it, yeah. Um also in the three D S version. I keep mentioning the three D S version. Just go buy that one and then you won't have to listen to me talk about it. Anyways, the three D S version has what was it? Uh, all the carotin frogs are, um, they're Yoshis, and instead of going, ramp, 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 they go, Yoshi, 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 Yoshi. Um, also, I missed the night vision goggles, I'll come back for them later, because they're pointless. This is, like, this room, this, this cave is the only area where you actually need them. So, their point is none. Also, we're running low on food, need, require food in my stomach. Uh, hmm. Let's see, how about a Russian ration? Wait, no, we have other food. Mangrove crab? Mm. Yeah. yeah, if you can't tell, I'm saving the rations for when we don't have any other kind of food. And also, I'm saving the Glova for a later area, which requires rotten food, which we will see later. You're probably thinking, why the heck would you need rotten food? Well, you'll see. You don't need to get rotten food? I guess not, yeah. If I, if I, if I, you know, if I need it, I'll, I'll, you know, use it. I'm gonna throw it away. It's like, if I have no room in my food inventory and I want to get some food. Um, 
Around here is where you can get the... Oh, what's going on? Cutscene time. Friggin' cutscenes, am I right? Huh? <laughs> Space machines in 1964. And then space machines degraded when it hit 2000, you see. So, here is... Like, where did they get those space machines? They just buy them off the interwebs? Die, crab. Or, that's not a crab, you silly goose. And also, um, these fruits are Russian false mangoes. They give you diarrhea medicine, I believe it was. And let's take off that um, silly MK37 billion. We don't want you. Also, smoke and chaff grenades are essential for this game. And I forgot about them because I'm insanely retarded. Well, chaff grenades are pretty much important for no matter what kind of run you're doing. Smoke grenades are pointless, actually. I don't even know why I put them on there, just to have them, I guess. Also, right here, I believe, is where you can get, yes, the mine detector. This is the second area where you can get it if you missed it in the uh, facility, which I did because I didn't look in the corner of the room where it was. Because I'm stupid, and I like to miss things. Also, this is the only point in getting the mine detector, is right here, there is a couple of mines protecting these ammo boxes. And that's the only point they have. Give me that, and give me that. I think that's it, right? Yeah, I think that's it. Now we can stand up and get blown up. Nope, nope. Bullets, bullets, and no bullets. Okay, let's go. Let's go. So, wait, let's put on our suppressor because, you know, nano machines. That's going to be my explanation for everything. Um... Let's see. Ramp. And where? Yeah, you're gonna wanna keep these for something all the way at the end of the game, basically. I actually you don't really need to keep these at all. Actually, this is pointless. But it does require um it is helpful because um it'll recharge your batteries when you eat them for some reason. Um I will call what's her name? Uh paramedic at the end of the episode, then I'll I'll ask her about it. I'll do those little, like, bonus conversations, um, in a, a bonus video, or if I could just link to a different video saying, hey, here's a video that I wanted to show, and then, you know, it's all the conversations that are optional. So, right here is the, one of, if not the only areas where this is, <laughs> this, this, um, oh, that was pointless. Please crouch and, oh, got and food. Uh. Also, just because you're crouching, crawling, whatever, doesn't mean that you're completely invisible. And I have 9% camo. That's pointless. Why am I wearing this? This does not help at all. Let's see. 10. 40. Well, it is water camo. Makes sense. But that doesn't make sense at all, actually. 49%. I've never had an, I never had an odd number for my camo index ever. So we should be at the end of the river. If not, I'm gonna drown. <laughs> yeah, we're here. Alright, so let's crouch again. Ah. Um, yes, there's two ways to go. So we're gonna go, to, gonna go left first because there is a weapon you can get here and also this is when you can destroy some what's it's called you can destroy a weapons storage here which will net you a very good thing if you're suck at this game 